Hola a todos. Hola, Loite. We are Claudia and Jan. We are an international couple from Germany and Spain, and we have been living here in Zurich for almost a year. And today we are continuing with our Asking Zurich series, and we are going to ask strangers a very, very ask question in our comment section, which is how to make Swiss friends in Switzerland. So before we start this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel to support us. And with this said, let's go. How is it for you as a local to make friends here in Switzerland? Uh, for a local I think it's uh, pretty easy, um, but I, I can see that for, for people who are from uh, other countries it mm -hmm. can be difficult. As you are Swiss, how is it to make friends for you? Uh, it's difficult if you don't know anyone. I think mostly you make friends through friends, mm -hmm. so you have to have one friend to go into a group of friends. And then it's easy, but otherwise, Swiss people are not that open. For how long have you been here in Switzerland as an expat? Uh, four years right now, yeah. And how has it been like to make friends here? Has it been easy or difficult? For me it was really easy because uh, I went to uni, so that was really fine for me. And what's always good is to download uh, Bumble Friends, mm. because on Bumble Friends it's really easy to meet some really nice people. So, yeah. Good tip! Yes. So, like, you came here with university, but if you would have come here just to work, like, do you think it would have been harder? I think it's harder, yes, but still possible. Mm -hmm. So. Should be fine. Cool. Yeah. And be at the, the right time at the right place and then you meet each other. Right. Like we did. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> How is it for you as a local to make friends? Uh, I mean it's I mean if you're an outgoing person and you already have like kind of a friend group that you got from school or something, it's not that difficult to make new friends. You mm. I mean it's Zurich, it's kinda of small, it's you have like the bubble and stuff, but uh, you you always find new people to meet, nice, cool, nice people. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Zurich. I grew up here in Zurich. Nowadays, like, where are your friends from? Like, are they Swiss or more expat? I think they're both. Where did you make these new friends? Uh, I live in a shared flat. So we live in a building with many shared flats. Mm -hmm. um, so this is something where you can meet friends, of course. I started playing tennis again. So in a tennis club, you also mm -hmm. meet new friends. Sports in general, I think, is a good... For me, it was always a good factor to, or a good place to meet friends. You're from? I'm from Gran Canaria, uh, Canary Islands in Spain. Very nice, very wonderful. So how is it for you to make friends here in Zurich? Uh, I mean, at the beginning I was lucky because I made connections that are from Spain and, you know, same culture, same thing, so it was quite easy to make connections, especially because this is full of foreigners. But in order to make local connections, it's a bit more difficult. But to be honest, in, in general, I, don't th I think it's easy to make friends here, especially in Zurich, because, you know, we have, there's a lot of young people, a lot of foreigners here, so... I, I would say that it's not, a, it's not difficult to, to make connections here. And how did you make these connections? What Did you use some apps or you, some events? Or? Mm, basically, you know, uh, I came here for work, so connections that I make in the office, yeah. then you start to make a friend of a friend and so on and so on, and you start moving, doing it, you know, in different groups. So I would say that that was the, the main thing that helped me to make connections here. Where are you from? I'm from Mexico. And since when have you been here in Zurich? A little bit more than two years. The few connections that you have been able to do, like how did you meet them? So I arrived here and I sent emails to everyone, like I am as a designer, what's up? And the only person that replied to me was another Mexican girl that was living here and she was like, yeah, let's meet. And we met and then she introduced me to some of her friends and the mm. people because she has been living here for like 12 years or something. Okay. And then, you know, like one after the other, just through people that know and present. Today we have here with us Mirko. And you're from? Switzerland. You are living in Zurich? Yes, since six years. Okay, so how has it been in these six years to make friends here in Zurich? Is you a Swiss also? I thought it was easy, but I worked in the agency, so it was a bit more a young wife, kind of like student wife. We were all between like 20 and 35, so all went out for drinks. Would you say that you have mostly Swiss friends or expat friends? I have a lot of uh, friends from uh, 
not from uh, Zurich or from Switzerland, mm -hmm. uh, but it's also kindly from business. But we are open, we have a lot of expats here, so everyone is welcome. So. I made some new friends here, uh, but I have to say that it's more complicated in Zurich than in my hometown, mm. um, because here it's pretty international, so like people when they have their group, it's quite impossible to go in. <laughs> mm. And why do you think is that? Because it's a bigger city, so people doesn't know anybody, like mm. uh, in a little village or something like that. So, yeah. Where are you from? I'm from here, from Switzerland, Zurich. Cool. So you live all your life already here in Zurich? Yes. And so how is it for you to make friends here? Or how is it going? I guess it is normal. I grew up here. I have my childhood friends and my nearest friends. I think everybody was born here. Yes. So you don't have like really expat friends like me as a German. You don't. You don't have right now. Mm, no, no, I don't okay. think so. Okay. <laughs> so how is it for you to make here friends in Zurich? I don't find it very easy. I think people are more open in Latin America. But I can say one thing: and uh, if you find friends here in Switzerland uh, and you manage to create a good friendship. Um, that's a very good friendship that will last yeah. um, way longer than um, yeah. most uh, friendships in Latin America. What would you recommend for me then as a German, for example, who moved recently since one year uh, to Zurich? How do I make, meet somebody like you, how do I make Swiss friends? Through other friends, no. <laughs> no, I think the easiest way is if, if you go to like a club or something. I do CrossFit, for example. I have also a lot of friends from CrossFit. Um, I think that's an easy way. Otherwise, if you go out, if you're open, like if you're an open person, an extroverted person, you can make friends here. But I think the easiest way is with a club or even at work. Yeah. And so among these friends you have made, are there also like some expats or you mainly have Swiss friends? No, I have a pretty mixed up friend group. I think uh, expats are maybe easier because they're also looking for friends. More than Swiss people are probably have their circle and it's a bit harder to get into it. You, for example, have your childhood friends. Would it be any way possible for me to get into this circle or is it like kind of impossible? No, it is possible. Like any tips for those that are coming to Switzerland and want to make friends or are already in Switzerland but didn't manage to make friends, especially Swiss friends? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't have a lot of friends. <laughs> it definitely is uh, easier to, to meet Swiss people. I don't know why we don't get in touch with uh, expats right. too much. I think it also is because they, they stay within um, their circles, mm. they, they stay within the expats. If you're like at the bar, I think it's always good if you smoke, you go to, <laughs> if you go to them and you ask if they have a lighter, oh. you always make good friends. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think language exchange is something, mm. like they have groups where people want to learn Swiss German or at least understand and if you attend those meetings uh, here in Zurich they're every Thursday and yeah changing languages like when there is local events uh, trying to go there and uh, yeah um, learn more about the culture maybe the Swiss are really like not that friendly than like other places but uh -huh. uh, you just got to know where to be and where should we be if a person from outside is coming to Zurich or Switzerland like what advice what top secret advice would you give this person I mean, I can't give like the top secret best <laughs> advice. You gotta kind of search for yourself. It's like, it's like okay. the point of a top secret advice. But I, I look like for like alternative uh, places. Like what's really cool are like places that are like uh, German Zwischennutzung, like uh, like collectives that uh, where they uh, where artists and ah. uh, people meet and there are uh, there are parties and other stuff and. Uh, and can can you name a couple? Or I mean, the the, one? The, like the biggest right now is uh, Central Wäscherei. Okay. Uh, th that's like uh, a Zwischennutzung that you can go. Like there are lots of cool events, other stuff, and like all those uh, those like cool places where actual culture happens. Mm. Not just Central Wäscherei. Not that's not like perfect, but like okay. there are very cool places. Cool. Too. Like where would you recommend people to go to find friends? Ah. Oh. Especially Swiss friends. Like maybe there is a spot where only Swiss people go. 
definitely at bars around here. Go to Langstrasse. If we are in a bar, right, yeah. and you're with your group of friends, and suddenly like an expat goes to your group and says, like, for example, myself, hey, I'm Claudia, can I sit with you guys? Like, would you think that is weird? Or like, would you be open to welcome me? Or I don't take it personally, don't worry. If you're good looking, it's OK. Oh. <laughs> As a Swiss person, is it also hard for you to meet Swiss people or not? Mm, not Swiss people in general, but there are like those Zurich people that grew up in the city. Mm. I'm from a little outside, so I'm also an outsider for those. Do you have maybe a spot that you would recommend for people to try to make friends? There are. Um, day raves if you're into techno. <laughs> also gyms, I don't know, mm. people always seem, ver seem very mean in, g in gyms but if you just ask like one of the muscle people like please help me, <laughs> they're gonna help you actually, yeah. they're all nice. <laughs> Maybe then you get a friend and a lover. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Regarding particularly making Swiss friends, uh -huh. like Mission Impossible or? Mm, I, I don't think so. If you meet a Swiss friend mm -hmm. and you are a bit intense and don't let him go then he will become your friend. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean by intense? Uh. Keep it going and not just be like passive waiting for them to invite you. Okay. Something like that. <laughs> be proactive. Yes. Today your friends are mostly like expats or you also have some Swiss uh, friends? Mostly expats, yeah. I would say 90, 95% expats. So uh, you also have some Swiss friends? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, two, three friends, that maximum. I, I mean, I met a lot of people, but I mean, close connections, two, three, maximum. If I am like a German, as an expert, me, how would I make a Swiss friend? Be open, maybe try to learn the language, it always helps. You can go for like a short course in the university and also there you can meet more friends. Like maybe German course or... Well, I don't know. I'm in German courses and I think the people that take German courses, well, we are all expats, mm -hmm. clearly. But it's like everyone is such in a different state in life that maybe it's harder. Do you think like it would be better to try to make friends in the night, like in a bar, more like Saturday night or just like a normal Saturday here in the river? Of course, in the night. It's probably easier. <laughs> How did you make your Swiss friends? I think working in hospitality, like uh, I used to be a bartender and mm. yeah, you meet a lot of people uh, because they want alcohol. <laughs> yeah, that's how you talk to people. Wow. Yeah, I think okay. that's... Also Swiss people do like if you make an effort to mm. kind of... I mean, also depends on how long you plan on staying. Okay. If you make an effort to fit in, kind of learn the language or understand at least. Right. Hey, Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey. Uh, hello. <laughs> Kaya. You can come. <laughs> Do you have any tips on how to m make Swiss friends? Oh, no way. <laughs> Be nice, try and try and try again. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing to our channel and liking this video. We would really appreciate that because like this you can support us and our content. Do you have any specific tip you would like to share with us and the community? We would really appreciate that and if so, please let us know down below in the comments. With this said, thank you very much for watching and see you next week.